Think back to when you were maybe in your mid to late 20s and think about what you thought of people who were like in their mid 40s or mid 50s. You probably thought those were just old people who didn't know anything about what it's like to be young. They were outdated, out of style, and basically irrelevant. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably in your 40s or maybe even a little bit older. Do you still think what you thought as a 26 year old is true? Are you old and crusty and irrelevant? Hell no, you're not. And in fact, at least in your brain, you still think like you're 26, or at least I do. So I have got one of those really big birthdays coming up in about two, two and a half weeks where I'm turning 55. Now, at least for me, that's one of those big scary numbers. And I think of myself as that 26 year old imagining myself as a 55 year old and it just absolutely blows me away. And here's why. Yes, I'm an older guy, but I don't sit around on my ass. If you've spent really any amount of time watching my videos or even following my Instagram, you know that I have a very active social life and I have made a pretty incredible lifestyle for myself. So today I wanna to share some things with you that I truly believe in that helps me stay relevant, youthful, and just full of self-confidence. First, get off the couch and go do things. I don't even necessarily care what you go do, but just go, just go do something. Maybe take a drive up to the mountains and spend an hour walking up and down a hiking trail. And if you can, go to the beach and put your toes in the sand. Maybe even go rent a convertible for the weekend and take a little road trip somewhere. And depending on your situation, you can just go by yourself or bring your significant other. Now next, and sort of on that related topic, if you are single, take yourself out. If you wanna go see that concert, man, just go. If you wanna go have a nice steak dinner, go. If you wanna go grab a couple drinks or maybe a glass of wine at that really swanky cocktail lounge, go. And if you missed a video I made just last week talking about how to take yourself out by yourself and have a great time, I'll link to it down below. It's definitely worth a watch. So if you're maybe more of like an extrovert and you like talking to people, taking yourself out is a fantastic way to engage with people and the world around you. It's a nice way to meet people and just enjoy random conversations. But if you're not really comfortable chatting up people, you can still take yourself out and have a blast. You can go listen to that live music somewhere. You can go see a comedy show or a car show, or you can buy tickets to that really interesting food pairing event that you saw online. Basically, you can do whatever you want. Next is to just take pride in your overall appearance. Dress better, or at least dress with some intent. Take care of your skin, take care of your grooming, and look after your overall fitness. I want you to be able to get to a point where you can look in the mirror and really like what you see staring back at you. And that's what it's about, right? I'm not asking you to wear clothes so that other people like you. I'm asking you to just try to put in some effort into the way you look for you. Because the fact is at this age, most guys are just letting themselves go and they fall back on saying that they don't care what other people think of them and using that as an excuse to not even try and give up and let themselves go. But listen, again, it's not about wearing a costume to impress other people. It's about staying somewhat relevant at this age and doing it for yourself so that you like what you see in the mirror. And that is what it's about. And once that starts happening, I'm telling you, you start to radiate self-confidence and you become a magnet for more interesting people. Something else I do that I've been doing every single day for about the last seven years now is using skincare specifically designed for men. I use Tiege Hanley skincare and it's simply because I believe in their products and they work for me. It doesn't even matter how old you are, right? But just do this. There's gonna be a link down below in the description that's gonna save you a ton of money. If you go through that link, you're gonna get 30% off your purchase plus a free gift. So my advice, if you're just getting started with Tiege Hanley, start out with the level one system. You get the daily face wash and exfoliating scrub, use that about twice a week. You get a morning moisturizer and a nighttime moisturizer. But if you wanna level up and use the same stuff that I use every single day, just get the level three kit. It's gonna come with all of that stuff I just mentioned, plus an anti-aging super serum and an eye solution to minimize all those wrinkles around your eyes. And full disclosure, in case you're curious, I've been spending my own money on this stuff since day one of these guys opening about, I think maybe seven years ago. 
And right now they're offering 30% off your first box, plus a free gift and 20% off products for life. And also you get to choose your free gift. You can either choose this body scrubber that you can use in the shower along with your body wash or this super cool premium four piece nail grooming kit. Both of these are at least a $20 value and you can get yours for free. And the beauty is that you can pause, cancel or customize the items that you want to receive at any time. So again, just get started and have better looking skin. Go check out the link down below in the description and get started today. Thank you, Tiege Hanley, for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. Something else I'm doing that we should all be doing is work on our fitness and making sure that we're getting enough exercise. I saw something recently and it really kind of freaked me out. It said that one of the main reasons that older people have to move into assisted living is because they can't get themselves on and off the toilet. This means, my friend, that you should start working on your flexibility, your mobility, and using your leg muscles every day. If you have stairs in your house, use them for exercise. Even do body weight squats or walking lunges, but do something to keep those legs of yours in shape. Now for me, I hired a personal trainer and I'm doing full body workouts a couple times a week and also body part splits here at my house in between those appointments. And yeah, that is an extra expense to pay him, but I need that accountability and it's really been helping. I'm starting to look a little bit better and feel better and I'm seeing changes in the mirror, which is exciting. Because just that in itself is an incredible mood and confidence boost. Now here's something else that you may want to consider and it's having your blood work done to get a complete hormone panel. A lot of you guys know that I'm on TRT and I'm not gonna push that on anybody. But if your testosterone levels are down, that will have a large effect on your mood, your energy, and your sleep. I have seen an increase in all of those areas, and because I'm in the gym, I'm seeing some muscle growth that I haven't seen in a very long time. But you do what's right for you. But maybe just getting a complete blood panel done might at least let you know where you're at. Another thing that I'm doing to stay youthful and relevant is trying new things. I've taken up pickleball recently, and it's been a lot of fun. And it's kind of funny because pickleball used to be that sport that all the old people played in those retirement communities, but now it's taken on this whole new demographic, right? A lot of young people are playing and it's just another way to get out, get some exercise and engage with new people. And here's something else I want you to know, man. I'm a single dude and not having a steady girlfriend at the moment doesn't keep me from going out, living my life and having a great time. And it shouldn't keep you from it either. If you wanna go take those pickleball lessons, dude, just go do it. Because you don't need approval from anybody and you don't need a permission slip to go do the thing you wanna go do. And if you're sitting there, maybe in a bit of a funk because you're feeling kind of old and worn out, that's your sign. Get up and go do something. Go enjoy your life. Go see things and engage with the world and with the people around you. Because I'm telling you, there's not a lot that can boost your mood and your confidence more than doing the things I'm talking about. And trust me, I'm not only talking about it, but I'm walking the walk. The last thing I wanna do right now is to dry up and just fade away. So if you're interested in maybe following my crazy lifestyle and seeing kind of what I'm up to, go give me a follow over on Instagram. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.